So here we are with yet another interval of subset of R, which is semi-open or semi-closed interval. I'm sure you're already guessing what it should be because uh, you've already seen open interval and closed interval. So something in between that is called a semi-open or semi-closed interval. So let's look into a quick explanation of semi-open or semi-closed interval. So here we are with the explanation of what is a semi-open or a semi-closed interval. It is a pretty simple one. If A and B are two real numbers such that A is less than B, then the sets open small brackets A comma B close with a square bracket equals X belongs to R such that X is greater than A but less than or equal to B. You see that? This indicates that X can be equal to R or less than B but with this bracket, it indicates that x will only be greater than a. Similarly, in this case, x will be equal to or greater than a, but only less than b, not equal to b. So that's what even this says. It's pretty much self-explanatory now that we've learned open interval and closed interval. So these are known as a semi-open or semi-closed intervals. Also, the number b minus a, that is this b minus a, is called the length of any interval, be it open, closed, semi-open, or semi-closed. All right, so that ends the total topic of intervals of subsets of R. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts of problems based on sets.